Okay, YouTube. What do we have here? We have the oil oil filter housing from a M54 M52 BMW engine. As you can see, this is the uh, the housing, and this is a new oil filter cap. Recently, I purchased a aluminium oil filter cap with this part inside of it. I will show it. Normally, it, this part is mounted in here. Like this. But I thought before I mount everything, I will check if everything is alright. So I started doing some measuring and started some fitting and I also got a oil filter. This is the original type and style oil filter. So it's made by Mon. So I tried some fitting and I noticed something. This is a broken one because you can see this is where normally the mesh part is of the, of the original oil filter cap. But it has, if you look specifically, you see it's a bit hollow over here. And if we insert this into there, because you see the, the part where the uh, two oil rings are, will be fitted in the small hole there. So I will do that now click and now when you check there is a little room over here where the oil that it's filtered will pass through and go through the the, the, the inner tube the, the tube so let me put on the filter so now it's a bit of a messy video but I hope the information is uh, I think the information is valuable. So this is the correct fitting of the oil filter. Normally it will be fitted in the housing and then you insert it. But now when we use this, we can see it will eventually snug fit in the filter. I will not do that now, but then you get the ID. Okay. I removed this part from the aluminium oil filter housing and I just try it to fit it. I, uh, as you can see, I purchased two separate oil rings and put them on because the original type of this aftermarket filter had, uh, yeah, I've, I believe it's Buna or uh, some cheap rubber. This is better. So. Let's see what happens over here. It is making a flow of oil. It's a massive restriction for the oil flow. So I think when I would have mounted this in my car, I would have ruined, I would ruined the engine. It is solvable and some say, yeah, but uh, over here, we have a hole so the oil can pass through and no that's not exactly the point because this hole is connected through this hole and then if you look inside at the side of this oil filter housing right there hard to see really hard look over there maybe I can zoom in a little bit let me see there in the middle of the screen there's a little hole. That hole is connected to the hole over there. You can see it. Sorry for the grainy video but I cannot do it better than this but it's in, in the middle of the screen. And normally when this is fitted it will make sure the oil on the outside here which is the supposedly dirty oil 
can also enter through this little hole and then up through this hole and then enter the upside look over here this is the original oil filter oil filter cap it will just seep through and just also um, be on the outside of the filter area and when you remove the filter the oil can pass through and will be let through the hole because when you look at this hole you go all the way down you will go over here let me see um, this but by fitting the oil filter housing the oil filter cap housing you will plug that hole so the oil cannot pass through this only when you remove the filter the oil will seep through this hole this is the, part, the, the, the place where the new oil where the oil from the sump that is pressurized by the oil pump will enter this assembly then when it enters it will pass through from the outside and then through the filter through this inner tube the bigger inner tube and then uh, let me see if I can turn on using let me see if you look over here let me see if I can bring it you can see that little the hole there is uh, made some yeah it looks like a crack but that's actually the hole where the filtered oil will pass through and then it will come out over there and there is also where our regulator is fitted it's a spring oil I think it's an, I, I, I think this is the oil pressure regulator but I don't know for sure but at least this is where the filtered oil will come through and then eventually over here we have the two other this is the the banyo fitting which will uh, feed the venos line and the other hole it's a bit harder to see there that is uh, where the oil uh, uh, the pressure sensor is fitted. So I think this part will be usable, but I need to. Uh, I think I need to. Yeah, let me see four or five millimeters of aluminium need to be taken off um, and then it is possible that it has about the same fit as it has the original so at least the oil must pass through like the original one so I'm very glad that I checked this before mounting it because otherwise and some may say yeah but the length of the rods is not the same uh, that's not true it is the same I measured them both and they're all uh, when measured from here to the top over there it's 15 centimeters and they're the same in length the only part differs and it's easy to see here let me see. Is this part? So um, yeah, it's not. Uh, <laughs> I'm curious. Maybe I have one off, but it could also be that some uh, people have the same issue. I hope not, because when you mount it, your engine could be ruined. The reason I wanted to uh, exchange the filter cap for an aluminium version is 
the easy possibility to mount a temperature and pressure sensor so I can read the oil temperature inside and I know the, the E46 already has an oil temperature sensor this is the one we're looking at it right now but that is already being used by the ECU to determine if the um, if we can already apply the Venos um, system if we can uh, Actu uh, yeah, actuate it or if the oil is too cold then it, uh, it it won't use it and you can read this with some specialized software on your laptop computer um, but I want to read the oil temperature all the time I just like that <laughs> um, yeah, I hope this video was uh, was helping for someone and uh, yeah, I hope I can uh, can fix this. At least my engine is still working. <laughs> okay, bye bye.